Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my Finish 17 in 2017 update. I have three lipsticks still rolling through this project. This is from Lipstick Queen. This is Hello Sailor. It is that blue and it turns into a beautiful berry on your lips. I don't know why I would do that. Like you're going to see it. But I only have a little bit left which is so exciting to be almost done with this lipstick I love this lipstick but it's not moisturizing to me like you have to have a lip balm on and then put this on because when you first put it on it's moisturizing but then as it goes on it feels more dry so that does require me to apply more so I carry this one in my purse and this is the lipstick I wear when I'm out and about from NYC this is a lipstick in violet shine I have made a little bit of progress since the last time we were here with it you can build it up or leave it sheer I haven't really been enjoying that as a lip color lately my go-to lip which I am wearing now is from be a bombshell it is their lip crayon and shameless got this in an ipsy I think everybody got one at that time but I have made some great progress I am almost halfway through this container this tube but this is the lip I've been loving, the red lip. And this one, you also get to build up to the shade you would like. And it has glitter in it. I've just really been loving a red lip lately. And I still have my two blushes going. This is from Pandora's. It's called Pandora's Face. It's their pink carnation blush. Like they're, you know, they're steepling from my brush because I use a steeple brush or stipple brush. I'm sorry, a steeple. <laughs> That's from a church bow. I use a stipple brush, and because this one is a pigmented blush, a little goes a long way. So I am slowly moving through it and I've started to use the Coastal Scents blush in Lovely. This one is also a pigmented blush. This one has glitter in it. A little definitely goes a long way. I have to make sure not to get too heavy with them. But I do use it. There's some markings in it. So I'm just trying to make progress on them. Alright, from Bonnabelle, this is the No Shine Pressed Powder. This is a foundation. I am in the last ring of the pan. It has some uh, hard pan on it right now. But if you use um, scotch tape, you know, just regular tape, put it on there, rub it, it'll lift up the hard pan without you losing too much product. If you would, like, scrape it. Um, this is definitely my color right now, so I've been trying to use it a lot more. And the other foundation is from Shea Moisture. It is their Weightless Shea Serum Foundation in Almond. When I started, I had 74 grams of product. I am now at 68 grams, so I've used 6 grams of product in 6 months. And I have had to put this on hold because it is definitely not my shade right now. It's too light. And when I went to Ulta, they had everything on clearance from Shea Moisture. So I don't know if Shea Moisture is going to replenish that little end cap with, you know, new formulas, new products. Or if Shea Moisture is getting out of the makeup game. Because I thought there was supposed to be a new foundation coming, but everything was on clearance. 
and most of the stuff was gone already um, but yeah so I am very pleased to have used six grams of this product but yeah it's not the shade for now and then my last product is my banana powder and I actually have a pretty noticeable dip in my Ofra banana highlighting powder I'm actually enjoying it I got a little heavy-handed with it today I caused a little hard pan on the around the center so I'm gonna have to work on getting that off again but I do have a nice dip close to hitting pan <laughs> and I will be very very excited for that moment All right, you guys, that was my finished 17 in 2017 update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well. Peace.